we think about hip hop today, if we listen back to the blues, it gets real raunch. So that was as far as I could go. It gets worse than that. So when I moved up to New York, my friend LaFrey said to me, you should go over down to Bleecker Street and you should uh, listen to me play a show. I'm playing with this guy named Junior Mack. And so I went down there. And she said, Valerie, this is Junior. You should meet him. Hey, this is Valerie. She's from Memphis. Well, Junior was like, uh, okay, this is the girl from Memphis? And he got on the stage and he said, we got a girl from Memphis tonight here who's going to sing with us. And I said, no, I can't sing tonight. I'm tired. I won't sing. I can't even see you. And he said, no, she's going to sing. And I got up there and I sang. And at the end of the night, the owner of the bar was there. And when I moved up there, I was so broke. And the owner of the bar said, would you play here once a week? And I was like, yeah, what does that require? He said, well, it requires that you play for two hours of straight blues. And I knew one blues song. <laughs> and I, he said, can you do it? And I was like, yeah. And I went home and I was like, God help me. I only have one song and he wants me to play two hours of straight blues and I gotta learn the blues quick. Well, I said, well, the thing I need if I'm going to play the blues is one of those things you purr with on the guitar. <laughs> so I went to the guitar shop, guitar center, and the guys at guitar center only had these big ones and ones like wouldn't fit my finger. So I went to a hardware shop, and when I got to the hardware shop, this guy said, what can I do for you, Dorothy? And I was like, uh, I need to get one of those things to play a guitar. And he said, well, you know you're not in a guitar shop, right? I said, yeah, but I know that in plumbing you have these cylinder-like things that I might be able to fit on my finger. And he said, well, okay, I'll look around. So he went to the back and he found one of these cylinders and he said, Dorothy, I've got just the thing for you. And I, I went over to him and I put it on my finger and I said, well, it's a little big, don't you think? He said, well, if you wrap a scarf around your finger, you can find something beautiful. And then just slide it on. Don't you think it will work for your guitar? And I said, well, I guess you might be right. And I like style and fashion, so an extra piece of material's not bad. <laughs> and so I slid it on my finger, and I said, well, how much is it, sir? And he said, well, Dorothy, for you, it's free if you tell me your name. And I said, well, I'll tell you my name, but why do you keep calling me Dorothy? And he said, because you sound like you're from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and I... I guess I had to give it to him. I mean, he was a New Yorker in the heart of Manhattan and he heard my accent and lost it. <laughs> but anyways, they gave me some food on the table. And then a couple from Pittsburgh, um, Felicia and Jimmy Sell, they gave me some food on the table. And I've just been so grateful for all of the people who've been supporting my music through these years. And this little slide and this little scarf, and we're gonna play you a song. Yeah. <laughs>